Good evening, everybody. I have been set a challenge by a friend of mine to create an NFT using Inkscape. I'm about to show you the results, and then later on, I will show you the design process. I hope you like my NFT. So, now the design process is completed, I just have to extract the designs. Now, one of the things about non-fungible tokens is that they are attempting to solve a problem which happens when you have valuable things codified within data. This data has a curious property in that it can be replicated ad infinitum without really any cost which makes creating things well not things creating data specifically hard we actually experience this in the open source world creating open source projects is hard because the projects are not rivalrous that's how we would classify them which means that one person's use of an open source project does not detract from any other person's use of it. And so the idea behind open source projects is that you only have to really create the software once and then you can duplicate it. And you can duplicate it not just for the people that paid for it, but you can duplicate it for anybody in the entire world. This is what makes a lot of open source projects really interesting from an economics perspective because you have a completely different model of creation that's that you have to understand uh, in order to be able to function appropriately and responsibly in the free software world. A lot of users uh, of open source projects so far haven't learned any of these uh, important lessons about their own personal responsibility when it comes to software. So what you end up with is a lot of open source projects that are funded by either corporations, in the case of things like Google Chrome, uh, were the, uh, the same problematic issues that crop up with a lot of uh, proprietary software also crop up, right, where the corporation has control over everything because they have control over the creation of the software itself. And then you have uh, individual volunteers or individual companies, right, small outfits that are basically providing a service to the rest of humanity. And uh, this is this also has a bunch of problems. I mean, it has the same issues about control, right, so you, you no longer have control of the... Uh, the who's and the what's and the wherefores of what in the piece of software should be created or developed or what have you. Um, I'm sure you've heard all, a lot of this before, right? Open source stuff, programming code, that sort of thing. So what has this got to do with non-fungible tokens? Well, NFTs are created to solve the problem of what and how do you make data unique and ownable as a property like you might own uh, an apple or a piece of clothing and uh, the way that they do this is they use cryptographic signatures and uh, a ledger system to uh, guarantee who the owner is of any particular creation. This is interesting in and of itself, right? So you have a piece of data, let's say it's an image, and that image can be copied, uh, you know, and recreated and so forth for as many times as necessary. Uh, but in an, in an NFT world, only one person can actually own that. Right, that uh, that data. 
and um, this this is this gets into the idea of like what is functional, right? So there is no great advantage to owning an NFT token, right? An unfungible token just stakes a, an ownership over its uh, originality, right? something that uh, it's very important for things like art and wine and you know they'll say things like oh it uh, guarantees the authenticity of the item but to be honest with you it's data there is no there is no authenticity it's just the thing right the copy and the only question you're really asking yourself is uh, whether you have your name in lights Right, whether you can say, hey, this thing, yeah, this this thing that everybody uses, that I, I own that in some way, some um, ethereal way. And I think that, uh, yeah, these tokens are interesting in that they uh, allow speculators, investors, people with far too much money to um, stake a claim. Now, what's interesting about them is that... Uh, Ownership is a weird phenomenon because it only makes sense if uh, everybody else who might like to own it, i.e. rivals, agree to the system. If, uh, if everybody else just decided to ignore NFTs in the system they've created, it absolutely would not change the functional aspects. So when it comes to properties, the difference between physical objects and uh, data objects is that the data objects really do uh, show, they highlight the um, pretend nature of a lot of property. Uh, to a greater degree, property is uh, made up, um, although possession is not. Possession of real physical objects is a real material thing. Which is why when I add this NF to this t-shirt and create this my lovely NFT. But uh, the NFTs that you find online that are made with Inkscape, those depend upon you having another make-believe system where you pretend that the, uh, the, the signatures, the codes in these proper properties are meaningful. If you uh, ignore them, you know, you don't think that they're particularly interesting, then it's not going to matter whether somebody claims to own a piece of data or not. Now, maybe in the future there'll be laws that uh, certify, should we say, the um, ownership of NFTs. So you can say, oh, I own this copyright. Here is the uh, the NFT that proves it. And the uh, there'll be a legal framework that uh, dispermits anybody from using copies of that, uh, that data. Although, really, I hope we don't get to that stage because uh, one of the things that we in the open source world are trying to show the world is that uh, it is possible to make things it is possible to collaborate uh, with other human beings and uh, make great things powerful things enjoyable things without needing to uh, create strange proprietaries right sharing can actually be productive and uh, let's see this this design is actually a tricky one it contains pieces lots and lots of tiny pieces Okay, 
note to self when making uh, barcodes in vinyl make sure that the spacing between each of the bars is uh, bigger because we have lost about 30% of the bars so here we go here's my NFT it's an NFT that uh, you can't own um, this one's mine but uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, I hope this video was entertaining interesting who knows let me know in the comments